Hey everyone, my name is Prince and welcome back to another video talking about Dinosaur King. Now you've seen the title and you're probably wondering what the hell this video is about. Well, we're actually going to be talking about something that's actually really interesting that I've literally not seen anyone in the Dinosaur King community discuss or even acknowledge at all. Now this is actually something from episode 35, Rough and Ready, which is the Iguanodon episode. Now I think most people will agree that Rough and Ready is a pretty decent episode. It's got some decent dinosaur battles, including the debut of Thunder Bazooka. It's got some character development for Ursula, even if it is completely reversed at the end of the episode. And it's even got the debut of the mysterious Velociraptor card, which I'll probably do a whole video talking about. But we're actually not going to be discussing any of that in this video, because today we're going to be discussing what happens at the start of the episode, and I mean at the very start. Because Rough and Ready is actually quite unique in that the start of the episode is actually the end of an encounter between the D-Team and the Alpha Gang. An encounter that we literally know nothing about. The episode begins with the camera zooming in on a bridge. The sky is a bunch of weird colours, so we can immediately tell that we're in the middle of a dinosaur battle. We then see Ursula running along the bridge, carrying what appears to be an unconscious Xander and Ed, and we also see Spiny running along behind them. We then see Chomp, who seems to be in the midst of using electric charge, running up behind Spiny. He manages to land electric charge on Spiny, sending him flying through the air and landing on on top of the Alpha Gang. Spiny turns back into a card, the Alpha Gang are flattened, and the whole scene is followed by them returning to Dr. Z, and him being incredibly angry that they failed again. Which of course sets up the plot of the episode of Dr. Z treating them like dogs. But moving back to that intro, this is really weird, because this is an encounter between the D-Team and the Alpha Gang that we literally know nothing about. And the reason that's weird, obviously, is because as far as we know, we see every interaction that the D-Team have with the Alpha Gang. Because it's obviously usually focused around the two teams fighting over a dinosaur. But as far as we know, we see every single battle that the two teams ever have together. There's never a moment in the first series where someone mentions something that refers to a battle that was off-camera that we didn't see. Now, obviously, we need to make certain that this is, in fact, an encounter that we haven't seen before. And the easiest way to do that is just to look at the previous episode and make sure that it's not, like, a continuation from the end of that episode. Well, funnily enough, it's pretty easy to discern that this is not, like, a continuation from the end of the previous episode, because the previous episode was actually Ninja Nightmare, which was the Deinonychus episode. And during that episode, they had Dr. Z with them, and obviously, they don't in this intro encounter, so we can assume that this was an entirely new encounter. So what can we learn about this mysterious encounter that the D-Team had with the Alpha Gang? Well, honestly, not that much, considering it's pretty much like the first 15 seconds of Rough and Ready. However, there is actually one thing that we can sort of investigate about this encounter. And that's the location. Because obviously at the very start of the episode, literally the first few frames, we see that image of a bridge. And that is literally all we have as to any sort of hint as to where this encounter took place. Now, I gotta be honest. I did not hold up a lot of hope of being able to figure out where this location was supposed to be. Because I figured that it wasn't supposed to be anywhere particular, it was just supposed to be, you know, a random bridge somewhere. But lo and behold, when I put in the image of the bridge into Google Images, it spat out an exact location! Because the location at the beginning of Rough and Ready during this mysterious encounter that we know nothing about is identical to the fourth rail bridge in Scotland. So what we seemingly have is what is apparently a missing episode where the D-Team and the Alpha Gang fought in Scotland. Now it is important to note that the D-Team and the Alpha Gang have actually been to Scotland before during a Loch Ness mess. However, Loch Ness is basically on the other side of Scotland to the fourth rail bridge, plus that was 12 episodes ago, so 
I'm thinking it's pretty safe to say that those two weren't connected. So what we have basically is a missing battle between the D-Team and the Alpha Gang that took place in Scotland. So I guess the other question that we should ask is, what were they doing there? Well, I'm sure immediately some of you will say, okay, well, it can't have been a dinosaur because if it was, then we would have seen it on the end screen of each episode where Max talks about all of the dinosaurs they have. Well, I'm gonna do an entirely separate video talking about all of the dinosaurs in the supposed collection. But funnily enough, there is actually very little evidence to support the fact that the D-Team did not capture dinosaurs, you know, off-camera. Because all three of the factors that would point to the D-Team only collecting dinosaurs during the episodes that we saw are actually inaccurate. Again, I'll do a whole video talking about the collection and all of the inaccuracies to do with it, but let me just sum it up real quick. The first factor is that Rod and Laura state that there are apparently 36 cards in the collection. And Dr. Z, the man responsible for helping the ancients make the collection, even agrees with them in a Kyoto caper when they say that Fukuisaurus is the last one. But, um, this is actually not true at all. Because there are actually 40 cards in the collection, at least, and there's actually some pretty solid evidence to support the idea that there's likely a lot more. So the actual limit of the collection put in place by the writers themselves is inaccurate. The second factor is the end screen of each episode. As you guys know, at the end of each episode, we get a sort of epilogue narration from Max, where he goes over what dinosaur they collected in that episode, and how many they have in total. But that end screen is actually missing one of the cards that they collected which was the second Cirolophus card. They just seemingly forgot to add it to the end screen, and that, combined with the fact that they seemingly didn't include the Velociraptor card, even though that is a dinosaur card, is probably why they thought Fukuisaurus was number 36. So the end screen that shows all of the dinosaur cards that they've collected is also inaccurate. And the final factor is that during the final battle against Black T-Rex, Rex tells Max that they are using all of the dinosaurs they have. But they aren't! Now obviously we don't see any of the lightning dinosaurs and that was obviously because Max wasn't actually present in that battle. But apart from the lightning dinosaurs, there were actually a lot more that they didn't summon. Saltosaurus, Carcharodontosaurus, Acrocanthosaurus, Utahraptor, Ultirhinus, none of them were there! Looking back on the episode, I thought at first it might be because they were only summoning dinosaurs that had move cards. But if that were the case, then why didn't they summon Carcharodontosaurus or Ankylosaurus, for instance. If I'm gonna be honest, I think the real reason they didn't use move cards like Fire Cannon and Mole Attack is because they were trying to be incredibly lazy and just reuse every single move card animation that they had throughout the season. And they could only reuse move card animations that took place in that weird colourful void that most move cards took place in, and moves like Fire Cannon and Mole Attack and Diving Press from Myasaura actually took place within the actual environments in those episodes. But regardless, on top of that, they did also summon dinosaurs that didn't have move cards, like Megaraptor and Ceratosaurus. But back to the point at hand, obviously, the D-Team did not summon every dinosaur that they had access to. And I guess another reason for that would probably be that, you know, the animators didn't want to animate every dinosaur that they'd introduced throughout the season. So to summarize, all three factors that would enforce the D-Team only collecting dinosaurs that we saw in the episodes are actually inaccurate. So that means there is literally nothing to say that the D-Team did not collect other dinosaurs off-camera. Do I think they actually did? 
not really, if I'm honest. Because I know that this is solely due to the fact that the writers did not pay attention to what they'd said and done in their own show. And I know that it was never the intention for there to be secret dinosaurs that the D-Team got in off-camera battles with the Alpha Gang. Do I think that there are still dinosaurs within the present day that the Alpha Gang and the D-Team didn't find? Absolutely! Because Season 2 showed us with Genie that there are more dinosaurs in the ancient collection that we didn't see in season one. Now we went on a little bit of a tangent there, but to summarize, there is nothing to suggest that the D-Team and the Alpha Gang weren't fighting over a dinosaur during this missing encounter in Scotland. However, even though I think the writers probably didn't give much thought as to what they were actually doing there, I'm going to say that that probably wasn't what was going on. Because as we know, the episodes of Dinosaur King don't always focus on other dinosaurs. For instance, there are quite a few episodes that focus on the Alpha Gang gathering Dino Montamba, and Alpha Metal. And it's entirely possible that that could be what they were doing in Scotland. And whether the D-Team were already there for some reason, or they teleported there once the Alpha Gang brought out one of their dinosaurs, you know, it doesn't really matter. Now, I actually did look on the Dinosaur King wiki to see if there was any information about this mysterious encounter, but all I could find on this encounter was what's in the Rough and Ready wiki entry, and it basically just says the exact same thing that I've talked about. It was a mysterious encounter, the objective of which was never revealed, and it was never referenced again. Dr. Z doesn't say you failed to get the dinosaur, or you failed to get the alpha metal, he just says you failed. So obviously the alpha gang were in Scotland to do something, or find something, and the D-team were able to stop them again. And I don't really think this is something we'll ever get an answer to as to what they were actually doing doing there because I think this was just really a random little encounter that the writers did in order to introduce the plot of the episode. All we know is there is essentially a missing episode that took place in Scotland where the D-Team and the Alpha Gang were fighting over something. Now, seeing as we don't actually know anything about the events of this episode, as well as telling me what you thought of the video and all the regular comments you guys usually leave, I want you guys to go down into the comments and write your own version of what you think this mysterious Scottish battle entailed. And while I don't think canonically there was supposed to be a new dinosaur during this encounter, as we've discussed in this video, there is literally nothing to stop us from suggesting that there were more dinosaurs that the D-Team got off camera. So if you want to write your version of this Scottish episode featuring a new dinosaur, then go ahead, be my guest! Because I've never liked the idea that the writer has limited the amount of dinosaur cards in season one. Because that always meant that we couldn't make up our own episodes that featured new dinosaurs in season one, because there were only supposed to be a set number of cards. But having actually thought all of this through and realized that all three of the factors that actually dictate this are actually inaccurate, you know, there's nothing to stop us from writing episodes now that feature new dinosaurs in Season 1. Because since I've started making these Dinosaur King videos, I've wanted to write new episodes in the same sort of style where I rewrote the Megalosaurus episode. But I always held off on that because I never wanted to go against the canon that there are only 36 dinosaur cards in the collection. But now that I've actually thought about it and realized that there is actually no canon information to actually enforce the fact that there are only 36 cards in the collection, there is nothing to stop me from writing those episodes now and introducing new dinosaurs. Because my perspective of it is, if the writers weren't paying attention enough to stick by their own rules, then why should we? So I think I'm actually going to do a part two to this video where I write my own version of this mysterious Scottish encounter. And hell, if you guys give me enough submissions, I might actually do a part three where I review all of your guys' versions of this episode. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video talking about the mysterious missing encounter between the D-Team and the Alpha Gang that apparently took place in Scotland. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and go join the Dinosaur King unofficial Discord down in the description down below. And yeah, thanks a lot for watching, everyone, and I will see you on another video very, very soon. Goodbye, everyone.